everybody f***ed up. You got Odell. Odell came in, he was hurt. Fine. I, I don't know what to, to make of that. I don't know how to feel about this season. I don't know why you gotta be a dick with the clown shoes. I don't know why you gotta be a dick with the visor. I don't know why you gotta be a, a dick with the watch. I get that you like those kinds of things, but we're losing games. You should fucking be focused on winning games. Don't focus on these dumb things. That doesn't make me hate him. I don't hate Odell for those things. What I do hate is that he ate up targets while injured and was not practicing. It made the situation look horrible. As I understand it, Odell Beckham practiced once a week. You're not gonna get that kind of chemistry with Baker Mayfield practicing once a week on Fridays during walkthroughs. It's not gonna happen. You skipped OTAs, you felt as if you know your body. Whatever, Odell. But if you watch Baker throwing to Jarvis, he can hit him in stride. He will lead him with the ball. Now, we'll talk about Baker in a second and a lot of his ups, but everything was behind Odell. It seemed like he wasn't used to his speed and his suddenness. Jarvis had a great season, can't fight that. Uh, our offensive line, I guess that's another knock on John Dorsey. How you think you could trot out that offensive line? Why the f is Chris Hubbard in the NFL? You're gonna trot out a backup left guard at left tackle in McCray? Greg Robinson was not great, but he's better than our slow ass backup left guard. It's bull But what was even worse was Baker Mayfield. What the f happened to Baker Mayfield. You hear a lot of people around the league, a lot of people around the country talking about how Baker Mayfield, it was just a flash in the pan last year, that he's a one read quarterback. I can't see that being the case. I refuse to believe that Baker Mayfield is not a good to possibly great NFL starting quarterback. Baker Mayfield is not a one read quarterback. That was never his MO. It wasn't his MO in high school, it wasn't in college, it wasn't in his rookie season. Baker Mayfield was always accurate. All of his accuracy was gone this year. Why? What happened? What the actual f happened? He sold play fakes in his rookie season. Sold them fantastic. It was very impressive. This year, he phoned in every single play action. It was unbelievable. What actually happened to Baker Mayfield? I feel like we need to get that kid a sports psychologist. We need to get him a dietitian. We need to talk this out with this kid because it's all in his brain. He did this to himself. He's clearly been eating lots of ice cream, and he's clearly been f***ing up. What made you think going into this season that you could just coast? You, you throw that around so easily in this Aaron Andrews. Yeah, you know, maybe I just didn't work hard enough. I thought it was gonna come easy. Why? Why do you think it's gonna come easy? It's the f***ing NFL. Nothing's come easy. Nothing comes easy to anybody. Everybody works. What is wrong with you? You're high. He threw the balls consistently high. He, he just to throw the same amount of touchdowns and picks? Are you, you, you wanna be Jameis Winston? Is that who you wanna be? You wanna be <laughs> shitty ass Jameis Winston? You don't even throw for yards. Jameis at least throws for yards. You were an embarrassment this year, Baker. I don't know if how to get you to see this. I hope you see this. I wanna look you in the eyes and tell you you were an embarrassment this year. But I love you and believe in you. You need to figure your god <laughs> out. Miles was having a pretty good season, then he decided to pull some psycho <laughs> Miles swinging helmets at quarterback. We've talked about this before. I didn't think it was any sort of crime against humanity. I didn't think it was anything ridiculous. It didn't bother me. It didn't turn my stomach. But we needed you, man. <laughs> we needed you, and you pulled that shit. That's why I'm pissed at you. That's why I'm pissed at Miles Garrett is because we needed Miles Garrett. Miles Garrett, you saw that defense. That defense absolutely imploded as soon as he was gone. We lost two duck Hodges while you were gone. We lost to uh, Kyler Murray, rookie Kyler Murray. We lost to the one-win Bengals. Embarrassments across the board. I've stuck up for you as far as what you did with that helmet, but I mean, you can't do it. The quarterbacks are protected by the NFL. It's like screaming bomb on an airplane. You could do it 20 years ago, but the times are different now. Can't do that anymore. Honestly, the only real positives of this season were Nick Chubb, a warrior poet, just destroyed everything. It's a god shame we didn't feed him more against the Bengals to try and get him that rushing title. Why would you not try and get that, that one thing that you could hang your hat on this season? The rushing title. You could have had it. Just feed Nick Chubb. You god Jarvis was good. Jarvis was great at times. Jarvis and Baker had chemistry. 
Uh, and then Jamie Gillen. I can watch that scotch punt the out of the ball. I love that Offense was atrocious, but just as bad was the guy defense. Where was this defense everybody's talking about? This secondary was supposed to shut everybody down. And they were supposed to lead to more sacks and more pressure. And more pressure was supposed to lead to more picks in the secondary. It was supposed to be the next big thing. We were going to be offensive powerhouse. Odell, Baker Mayfield, Jarvis Landry, but then you had Miles Garrett and Olivier Vernon, Denzel Ward. I don't know what the actual happened to both of our corners that they got hurt within minutes of each other and sat out for much longer than you thought they would and then they came back. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Fine, you hurt yourself. Why did you get beat down so bad before you got hurt and then after you got hurt, Denzel Ward? You were another player that was supposed to be a top-notch contributor. Where'd you go? And we were so arrogant. We were insufferable. We were, <laughs> the moment we got Odell Beckham, we were like, Super Bowl, no question about it. And we were loud and we were obnoxious and we rubbed it in other teams' fan bases' faces. We were about it, which is what we do. It was great. It was a lot of fun while it lasted. But maybe, just maybe, like Super Bowl expectations are a bit much for a team that only won one game over the course of two seasons just a couple years ago. Let's fix this. Shit. Let's fix this. Shit. Let's move forward. Can do something. God. Go Browns.